previously on me and Kimberly Arlen. Today I am stressed out. I need the money today. <laughs> So now we're headed out to go and handle all the things we need to do for TJ. We got lucky, buddy. I got some more thinner wire for these smaller earrings. He got himself some pizza rolls and some grapes, okay? Community, welcome back to another vlog. I am Kimberly with Ben Kimberly Arlinda, and today we are excited. We are excited because we got packages to mail. We <laughs> packages to mail. So I am sitting here in the uh, post office parking lot getting ready to go in and mail off my orders that I got over the weekend. I am super, super grateful, super excited to be able to do this. Um, these are not in the packages that I wanted them to be in um, because I forgot to actually order my shipping supplies. So the shipping supplies that I actually want them to be in is going to be coming on tomorrow and Wednesday from Amazon. But in the meantime, I still had packages to mail out. So I went and I just got some regular bubble envelopes. And we're going to get these mailed. I am like overjoyed. Um, the sale has already ended. Open 20. But I will be having another sale coming on MLK Day for one day only. And it's going to be a 10% off sale. So you guys can definitely check that out. And still get more stuff for the low. So um, yeah. So that's what I'm doing today. I dropped off. Prince and TJ today and Prince did not do his crying thing today and so I started to like um remind him like on Friday night on Saturday on Sunday you know we're going to be going to school on Monday just kind of like started talking about school having that conversation and then last night before we went to bed we just had like a whole he was so eager to talk about school um about the things that he liked about school and stuff like that. So before he went to bed, that was the last conversation that we had. So this morning when he got up, he didn't have no problems. He didn't cry. He didn't try to talk me out of sending him to school, nothing like that. So if your child is going through something similar, I would say do that same thing. Just kind of kind of start talking about school when it's when it's coming, kind of like doing a little bit of a verbal countdown like okay, we're going to school on Monday. We got two more days left, th things like that so that they have that in the forefront of their minds. Now this probably will work for, you know, kids my age. Uh, my age. I am not a kid. For kids that are the same age as Prince, you know, preschool, kindergarten, maybe even first grade. But I think as they get older, you might have to do a little bit of something different. That might not work with no teenager. Anywho, okay, let's go mail these packages because it's already um, 9 o'clock. And you know I got to be back home by 9.30 to go to work. I don't have much time in the mornings anymore until TJ gets... Um, until TJ gets transportation to this new school he goes to, which is about 30 minutes away, I have to take him to school. So that kills all of my extra time in the morning. So I, once we appeal this whole decision, and we he'll be going back to his regular school. So this is just temporary, <laughs> okay? Very temporary. Um, but anyway, let's go mail this. I know. Uh, thank you. Yes, Get those orders to rolling, right? Yep. Okay. You have a scale in your home? I don't. I was thinking about no? that. Okay. I'm going to give you the uh, contact name and number to call. Okay. A business lead specialist. Okay. Works with clients like yourself that are starting up their businesses. Awesome. They're going to grow, but they're worth the post office. Okay. And um, her name is Diane. Diane. Okay. And she will guide you, direct you, talk to you about uh, 
getting a scale in your home as well, okay? Yeah. These are just tracking numbers. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Let me get the number. Thank you. you. Don't far, do you? Um, I don't know. <laughs> you don't? Okay. Do you have like an email? I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mind your name and email? Sure. Telephone number and I will have her call you as well. Okay. That way you're not playing phone tag. And what's the name of the dude with you? Motifs by Kimberly. And is it all, what, handmade jewelry? Or? Yes, handmade jewelry. Is that all you're selling? Um, yes, yeah, for now. Okay. okay. You got this and I can tell it for now. That's a key word. Mm-hmm. Kimberly do. I actually love this post office because the lady who works here is so super nice, so super helpful. And she actually gave me some information to a um, USPS um, business salesperson who's going to help me to like, I guess, get cheaper rates for shipping or um, get a scale inside of my house so I can make sure I'm doing the right shipping, you know, amounts and stuff like that. And so I don't walked off with their pen. I'll be back, I'll bring it back. Um, but everything is shipped, all the tracking numbers are here. And then she gave me the name of the lady who is going to help me with getting a scale. <laughs> All my pieces are very, very small. And um, unless somebody is ordering like a super bulk order, everything is going to be under a pound. So my shipping costs are pretty decent. And then with Shopify, which is the, um, the uh, store commerce e-commerce site that i use they also give me a discount too with um shipping costs so my shipping costs are pretty cheap already um all of them are like under five dollars really like two two three dollars to ship and um the furthest i've shipped right now is texas so and it was only three dollars so it's, the shipping costs are very minimal, which is why I include free shipping because it's not that much. Um, but anyway, let's get home. I don't really have a whole lot going on today because once I drop the kids off, I don't have much time to do much else. I'm wearing my wig because, girl, it's just a pretty hat. <laughs> Keeps my head warm, okay? Um, I'm going to go home and see if I got any more orders because... When I left this morning, I didn't. Um, but I'm like checking it. I'm like checking my orders like all the time. Like, oh my gosh, did I get a new order? Did I get a new order? Did I get a new order? <laughs> did we got something else that we can ship? Um, and I forgot I was supposed to ship something else today. Um, something personal. And I, I should have brought it with me so I can ship that, but I forgot about that. Anywho, I am passing by Dunkin Donuts and it's every taking everything in me not to go into Dunkin Donuts and get me a chai tea and some dog bone everything bagel stuffed with cream cheese do I have time I don't have time it's it's 907 I don't have time but so I'm gonna go ahead on home and eat me one of those frozen um, chicken biscuits, sausage biscuits, biscuits that I bought. Yeah, I was supposed to do a grocery haul yesterday, but I dropped my phone in the toilet. Oh my God, let me tell you guys, I dropped my phone in the toilet, right? Remember when, when Prince was, um, praying, when we was praying before we was going to school, uh, before I dropped God to do for you today? You don't want me to go to work. Oh, you don't want my phone to break. Okay, so let's pray to God. Put your hands together. Dear God. Dear God. 
please help mommy's phones not to break. This phone break. That boy be looking out for me. Okay, that prayer went all the way through because I dropped my phone in the toilet. And I could not get that thing to charge for nothing. It just kept saying, you know, something is in the port. And it kept giving me that water um, icon. And it was making this noise. Every time I tried to plug it up, eh, 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 and I was like, oh, my God, I am freaking out. And the bad thing about it was that it was still working, but it was on like 2% at the time that I dropped it in the water, uh, in the toilet. So I put it in some rice. And I just let it sit, and every once in a while I would just take it out of the rice and try to plug it in, and it was like, eh, 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 eh. and then it died because it was on two percent, and then it died, and I was like, oh my god, I can't edit no videos, I can't record no videos, my whole life is over, it's done, I'm done. I am so dramatic, but that's what I was thinking. I'm like, it's done, it's over. So this is gonna push me to get a camera and to edit on my computer because. If something happens to my phone, I really can't do anything on YouTube. I can't. Um, because all my footage is here. My editing program is here. My, I record here on my phone. So this is going to push me to get a camera um, really soon. We don't know when, but we're going to get a camera really soon. Um, so his prayer came through, honey, because right before I went to bed, I think I went to bed around 11 o'clock. I tried it one more time to plug it in and it actually started charging. I was like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So that boy came through for me. He knew ahead of time that something was going to happen to my phone. And he told God to protect my phone. You got to teach your kids how to pray, honey. Even though that prayer was just simple, whatever. But that prayer meant something to me yesterday when, when, when my phone fell in that toilet, honey. So teach your kids to pray the moral of the story is teach your kids to pray <laughs> hey oh and i'm getting ready to book my trip i've decided to take me a momcation on march 18th and i'm going to use the trip the, the the free trip that i got from my daycare or from the preschool to book it uh, i'm going to tennessee we gonna go to tennessee y'all and I'm going by myself for the first time. It's just going to be me by myself. I'm going to send Prince to my sister's house for the weekend. And um, that's going to be hard. Because I, don't, I, don't, I have never spent a night without Prince. Never. And I'm going to take myself to Tennessee. So I'm going to book that today. Um, Gosh, I'm so excited about life. I'm so excited about what God is going to be doing in 2022. 2022. Double. Double the blessings. Okay? 2022 is going to be double, double, double. Good morning, community. It is a Tuesday, girl. And this sun is in my eyes. I had just dropped off the last kid to school. We're headed back home so we can get to work. Um... Yeah, I don't feel good today. Whole attitude today because my schedule has been interrupted yet again from this doggone situation with my son. And every time it interrupts my schedule, it pisses me off. Because I keep getting told different things about what he has to do. And then a lot of those things involve me. Like, I have to do it with him. And it's causing me to have to get off of work and and at the last minute and that's what pisses me off at the last minute i can't wait to tell you guys the full story but tj doesn't want to have it discussed in its entirety until it's all done and over with and he can kind of be like a like looking back on it it'll make sense later on when i'm able to tell you guys the full story anyhow today's tuesday we're gonna make it a great day i have to get off work early today so i can go and handle all these things yet again for tj um but the good news is i want to talk to you guys about the um vision board experience that i had with beyond the happy oh my god how amazing guys and i wanted to record it but i was going through my whole phone crisis i had dropped my phone in the toilet so i didn't record anything that day because my phone was on like five percent 
from the time I dropped it in the toilet until it died, which it died shortly after the vision board experience started. And once it started, I couldn't charge it. I couldn't charge it until like 11 o'clock at night. So, hmm. So I, all I can do is tell you about it. So when I get home, I'm going to show you my vision board and explain to you some of the things that we did. Uh, and my sister's calling me. What's up, community? I am not feeling my best today. However, comma, we are here. We are getting it done. Um, it's a whole other day. It's been about two or three days since I picked up this camera because I have been focused on work and trying to get things done for TJ and it has been consuming my brain <laughs> literally consuming my brain so I know I was supposed to show you guys this so let me show you this is my vision board that I made at the vision board party um it has just a few quotes some stickers um a quote that I wrote myself and this is uh, an affirmation a couple of things that kind of make me smile doing youtube and like nature um these pins right here i'm supposed to put a picture right here i haven't done that yet and a few more pictures here but these right here are some of my mental roadblocks that we went over and on the back side of this is how we can proceed through these mental roadblocks to get to where we want to be also this little barcode right here is a um uh playlist it's the affirmation playlist so um that is super different i've never done anything like that before so um that's the first time i ever had a vision board party or a vision board experience like that where we really focus on the mental health part portion of things and she even gave us these kind of little whiteboards okay so these whiteboards it's like a mental like brain dump every week and as you can see i've started to use this already where i kind of it none of it really makes sense it's just kind of random stuff that i need to do and i brain dump all the things that was in my head at the moment and i think i did this on monday morning um you also have a wellness routine sheet and you can just wipe this off and start again the next week or the next day so every time you do something on this um, list, you're supposed to kind of put a check mark on the day that you did it. I haven't really been using this one, but I have been doing a lot of these things. Um, this one is about your anxiety. So you list your triggers here and you list how you're going to manage those triggers here. So whenever you do have a trigger, you can go right here. And just, you know, look at what you said you were going to do to manage it. And it should help you to kind of combat that. This is a gratitude checklist. And it's like the activity is, you know, to think about or to kind of put into mind one out of each of these categories. Um, or you can just take one and reflect on it each day. And on Monday, something positive about my body. And I put them lips. I love my lips. I do love my lips. Um, so that's something that you can kind of do on a daily basis. I haven't spent much time on that. And then here, this is the last one, a monthly self-care. You, you get intentional about your self-care. And like each month, you list one or two things that you definitely are going to do to take care of yourself and here i put nails and massage i know that doesn't look like massage because some of it wiped off i already have my nail appointment set for this weekend and i am going to book a massage for next weekend or the weekend after so um it helps you to kind of take care of yourself mentally while still getting things done and still keeping in mind your goals and then one of the last things i want to show you is this little jar here now this is a vision jar um, so what we did, well, we, we wrote our goals on the pieces of paper inside the jar and we put them inside this jar, but, um, I think it was kind of interesting how she had us do it because we did one scary goal, one big scary goal. And then another goal was, um, kind of a goal that's not related to productivity, kind of like more like a, a super personal goal. And then um, two to three goals that are, you know, related to other things. 
And once you reach that goal, you write the date on the back of the date that you reach that goal. So I have one of my goals here is to have at least at least two momcations this year. I am booking one for March. I may even book it for um I may even book it for February, which is next month. But definitely March, I'll be taking a momcation to Tennessee. So I will write that once I'm done with it. I'll write the date of one of the momcations. And then when I book the next one, I'll write the date of the next momcation. So that's kind of like an interesting way of goal setting. And we put these in this jar. And you can kind of take them out and just look at them periodically. I think that's important to not only write down your goals. But to also review them and look at them often so it's in the forefront of your mind. So, yeah, that is all that I kind of wanted to show you guys about the um, the vision board experience that I had. It was definitely an amazing experience. I highly recommend it. You can do some of those things that I just mentioned without having to go through and do the vision board experience itself. Write down some goals put and put a date on the back of the goal when, whenever you are have reached that goal and things like that Oop, my boss is calling me but i had a little bit of, break, of a break at work so that's why i was able to kind of fill you guys in but prince is home because he was kind of feeling wonky yesterday and i had a little rough start to the day so i look a little bad but i just want to go ahead and um in in the call in the vlog here because it's kind of random really really random so i just want to go ahead and end it out thank you guys so much for watching make sure you follow me on instagram um where i do go live and stay very active oh, active on my stories um make sure you're subscribed and that you make comments down below let me know who you are uh, if you have a youtube channel share with that share that with me as well so i can check you out and i will talk to you guys later